Hey folks, Clark and Peggy here. We got a little project that we're going to take care of today to replace a slide topper on our uh, RV. Um, hopefully this will be useful to you if you've got the, a similar project that you need to try to take under. Uh, so watch along and let's see what we can do. So here we are uh, out at the RV uh, storage site. Uh, the intent today is to replace the slide topper awning over the bedroom back here in the back on our uh, 2014 Montana. So uh, we'll get a close up here in a few minutes of that, but the challenge uh, is that that particular awning has dry rotted a little bit, the seam has come out, it's a carefree of Colorado awning. Now what we've done is we've actually replaced, uh, we, we pulled down all of five of our, uh, our awnings at one point. Um, uh, for the five slides and we were able to salvage uh, the awnings on uh, the other parts of the RV by uh, getting them uh, to an upholstery uh, guy who uh, does boat work and stuff like that and so he was able to restitch uh, where the material was uh, not as fragile and, uh, and, and so that's helped us uh, to be able to uh, not have to replace them all uh, but today we're going to replace one and we're using um, the uh, the stuff from tough top awnings uh, out of Washington State uh, and uh, and so we're we're hopeful uh, that we're going to be able to have a smooth uh, process here we've done all these others before uh, and I'll show you in a minute what the issue is with this particular one uh, so the tools that we're going to use today, uh, pretty simple actually. I've got a multi-tool here uh, that uh, allows me to do a lot of stuff uh, on the uh, on the RV, um, and uh, this particular one is really handy because it's got all of the uh, the various types of uh, of screws and uh, and bolt uh, capabilities. I got a screwdriver to open the channel up, a pair of pliers. Um, uh, some uh, Allen wrenches. Uh, again, this is for the uh, uh, the actual uh, use on the to take the carefree awning off, um, and a, a large cotter pin to to fix the spring. Uh, we've got uh, or keep the spring from coming unwound, I should say. Uh, in our particular application, what we discovered was that the installer did not follow the uh, manufacturer's recommend recommendation to put two screws in each of the mounting points. Um, and so we're gonna, we're gonna add a screw up there. What we found was that a couple of hours were loose and we torqued the, the, the single screw down, but putting a second screw in uh, to all the others has really made a big difference in terms of the, uh, how sturdy uh, the, uh, the awning mount to the actual RV is, which is uh, right in that general area on this particular awning. So here we are at the end of the of the awning. So we've got to remove this cover right here. In order to do that, we're going to take this screw out and this screw out uh, right here. We don't want to take these other screws. They mount the, the end to the frame itself. Uh, you can see from this situation that there's no threading left here. Uh, what's happened is the threading has worn out this material is uh, is sort of dry rotted and this particular awning does not have any spare material on the roller once the slide is moved out. It's literally just got about three quarters of a turn left. So what that's caused us to do rather than cutting this material off and get it re -sewn, is to buy the new awning from Tough Top Awnings. Uh, so we're going to go through the process now of removing the cover, um, then taking the this screw out right here and it's it's corresponding screw on the other end sliding the awning out of this track uh, and uh, and then removing the the uh, awning itself from the top up here so we'll see how that goes Okay, so we got the awning uh, turned just a little bit. You can see it's got some slack in it now. And we were able to slide the pin in the opposite side hole. And then you can see I bent it just a smidge just to make sure that we don't um, 
have the pin fall out and release all the spring tension so we want to make sure that's the case again here's a good view you can see of the fact that all the stitching is gone out of this so now in order to remove this I'm going to go to the other end uh, and there's a, a screw hole down there we're going to use our uh, allen wrench again to remove that uh, that screw that'll allow that end to come loose and then we'll be able to take it out so looking at the end of this right here is where we've got another screw that's deep down inside there uh, and we're going to take that screw out and uh, and that'll allow us to lift the awning out so you can see now that this is loose so now what we're going to do is i'm going to use my multi-tool to remove these two uh, screws here that are screwed into the uh, the piece of uh, plastic material. I was able to remove that screw easy enough. You can see this end of the channel is opened up pretty well. So what All right. So again, this is just a sheet, self-tapping sheet metal screw. Um, it goes into the plastic cord that runs along the top of the awning. Now is we're just going to unroll the fabric from the roller uh, and make sure we know which slot the, the uh, fabric went in uh, in the process. So, um, all right. So we're going to look at the way that this is oriented. Ordinarily, I'd have a something to mark this with, but I don't believe I brought anything. But what we're going to do is we know that it's near the head of the cotter pin. That's the slot we want to slide our uh, new new fabric into. Uh, we're going to hang the new material on the trailer and then slide this in after it's hanging. We found that uh, the sliding the roller on without the weight of the fabric uh, helps a little bit and it allows us uh, the, as a team to be able to roll it up onto the trailer. Uh, you'll see some videos where they roll the new fabric onto the, to the roller uh, and then uh, try to put the fabric on up top up there on the rail. Uh, we've done it that way before our very first time and we experimented by doing it this way um, Now if you're actually replacing the the main awning on your RV You're gonna have to do it the the other way by putting it on the on the roller first because you have two places You have to insert it because of the valence Good news Tough top has done a great job for us here with regard to the awning. Uh, you'll note that the way theirs comes uh, It's got the white um, cord through the middle of it uh, this is the same size as this black cord, uh, so this is the part that goes up against the rail, up against the, our, the uh, coach itself. And then this side right here has the thin piece in it, uh, and, uh, and it goes into the, um, to the roller itself. Uh, tough top awnings, um, notice it's double stitched all the way down. They've actually got the, uh, the piece stapled in here so it won't come out. Um, and so it won't slide around uh, a whole lot. Uh, that, that was an issue for us as we were redoing them. Um, I'm, I'm uh, very impressed with uh, what I've seen so far. Uh, you read their website and it talks about why they don't do edge stitching. Uh, their material does not require edge stitching and it'll also create a cleaner roll when you're rolling back onto the roller. Uh, the way the carefree awning is put together. This piece right here is uh, is actually bolted to the coach down here underneath um, and uh, of the slide out itself actually. It's supposed to have two screws that are on here. They're actually, you know, if you follow their direction, it's supposed to be one like right here and one like right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this second one in over here um, and it's a self-tapping screw that second one in just went right in no no issues and what that does is just stabilizes this uh, this particular one was not loose uh, but uh, two of our others had some real movement right here and you could hear it clicking and feel it move around to put silicon spray in this entire channel so I'm going to do that real quick uh, and just do it all the way down the whole length up here now we've got the the uh, 
cotter pin out to put the tension back onto the uh, onto the fabric. We can see up underneath here. We got like one, nearly one full turn left on the fabric, um, and uh, it's nice and taut. Uh, not got a little breeze blowing out here. It's not flapping too much, uh, so we've got good spring tension on it. It looks like. And, uh, so we're gonna roll it back in and see what happens as it rolls in. like all the slack is out uh, and now the only thing we got to do is just to put the screws in to keep the fabric from moving left and right on the, the rail on the side of the coach uh, and then reinstall the cover. Piece right here. I want to make sure that plastic piece is all the way down on this end on both ends because that will keep the metal from the cover from impacting the uh, edge of the material. So we're gonna make sure that it's firmly, uh, that it's slid down and covers um, all the way down to the end so that the material slides on this plastic as opposed to being rubbed against this metal right here. So we're all done um, and uh, you can see uh, that uh, this thing looks uh, really nice, uh, very clean. Um, it, it's got a little bit of flex in it still, but I'm sure that rolling it in and out a couple of times, that'll uh, take that out of it. Um, and uh, really uh, very happy so far with the product that uh, Tough Top uh, has provided. Uh, easy to use and, uh, and a, pretty much a complete duplicate of what we had uh, and uh, at a reasonable price. Hey folks, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope this has been helpful for you and we'll talk soon.